<laughs> Hello, everybody. That's a lot better. Good morning. Good morning. Welcome back to the Yeet Show. I'm Woo. Nick. I'm Jesse. I'm Emily. I'm Evan. And this is a beautiful, beautiful new week. It's nice to see you guys again. Oh, nice you to too. You. Aren't you glad it's warm again? <sighs> no. Not for long. <laughs> no. Yes. There's a cold front coming in. I like that cold, man. No. I, I, I can't with that cold front. I prefer to stay warm and just n not wear jackets when I go outside. <laughs> I live in Florida, not Alaska. <laughs> exactly. How was y'all weekend? My weekend was awesome. I saw the Eagles beat the Vikings, which was pretty exciting because I'm a huge Eagles fan. So ate a lot of food and just watched my Eagles win. It was great. I was very uh, mad that the uh, Jaguars lost, especially yes. after doing so good for the I'm, entire game. The New England cheaters, what can I say? Yeah, I swear, like, <laughs> Belichick is, like, paying off the refs. Yes. I got a conspiracy theory. Definitely they, is. They're definitely paying off the refs. But I don't know. I was proud of Florida for Jacksonville. They came. They they made it to the top four. Yeah. But, you know, Miami couldn't do it. Tampa couldn't do it. It's so. been a while since Tampa has been. Tampa hasn't been good since they went to the Super Bowl, yeah. if we're being honest. But, like. I don't know. Jacksonville made Florida look really good on Sunday, even exactly. though they lost. So Blake Bortles played a good game. Yes, he did. I love I love the Patriots. Am I the only Patriots oh fan out God. there? And think you might be the only one, at least in this room, because I definitely don't like them. Yeah. <laughs> like, I, I, even all my friends don't even like the Patriots. I'm like, they are champions. No like, way, man. Uh -uh. Not this time. They're cheaters. <laughs> like, ever since like that the Flate Gate scandal, like once they got caught yeah. and punished, like you can't you can't really bounce back from that. Yeah. Only only Patriots fans like that. But right. Like that's the, just my opinion. I will honestly say that I may not be a Boston fan when it comes down to baseball, but I will root for them in football. I don't like the Red Sox, but I do like the Patriots. Jesse, how was your weekend? Emily. <laughs> Emily, how was your weekend? <laughs> That's Jesse. Um, it was good. Not much happened. I hung out with my friend, and we went to go see Insidious. It was scary. <laughs> it was scary. Was, yeah. Is it worth the money? I don't know. I haven't seen, like, there's uh, four, there's five. Movies. I haven't seen the other four. So, I mean, it was good. <laughs> you have, you, how did you see this one before all the others? We just, that was the showing. She's you all just wanted to see a scary movie. No, I didn't yeah. pick. She she was all like, you want to do something today? And um, so, yeah, that was the only one that was like before 8 o'clock at night. <laughs> so we went to go see it. And it was funny. I laughed because she was screaming. <laughs> <laughs> I Like, you have to see like the very first one. I might. It was a pretty good movie. Yes. I saw some people were saying that it's been going on for too long, but I liked it. And I love the fact that it's like a cheap thrill, something yeah. that's actually really, really, really like, voila. It, it could actually happen to you, I felt like. This this yes. one, I felt like it was like realistic. Have you seen The Conjuring? No. Oh, I don't do The scary. Conjuring's great. Oh, uh, <laughs> She hasn't seen The Conjuring. I was going to ask her, like, if you had to compare the two, which ones do you guys think would be more I, higher? I, I don't know if I saw the first Insidious, but I do like The Conjuring. And did you see It? Yes. The new one, it was really yeah, good. It was great. <laughs> I like the original too with Tim Curry. Yes, Tim Curry is amazing. <laughs> yes, I love the nineties one. Did you see the new it? Yeah, I, saw, I thought it was, no, I didn't see the conjuring. I saw it though. I thought it was <laughs> it, it was pretty good. Stranger Things season three or something. Yeah. <laughs> Basically. <laughs> yes. And Stranger Things will be coming back for a third season pretty soon too. Mm -hmm. So I'm really excited, excited about, about that. Yeah. Now, everybody, this is the ED show. We're going to be playing some music. Stay and, tuned. <laughs> and stay tuned and look pretty. Boom. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the ED show. I'm Nick. I'm Jesse. I'm Emily. E I'm, I'm Evan. And <laughs> this show is about events and our own personalities pretty much that we like to talk about stuff that we like and everything very eclectic yes and we just gotta sit we just wanted to give you guys the reminder for those of you coming in we have a lot of stuff happening in our in this week's on in this week's events tell us about it <laughs> shoot all right, first of all, the breaking news of this morning, Alaska got rocked by the 8.2 earthquake right off of the Kodiak Island. Oh my God. Tsunami warning know. stretched all the way down <laughs> to California. I didn't know Alaska even gets earthquakes. I thought all they got was snow. <laughs> yeah. I, I didn't know either. 
Now, according to CNN, they lifted the tsunami warnings for Alaska, U.S., and Canadian West Coast Tuesday after the earthquake of, and that happened in the Gulf of Alaska stoked fears and damaging waves. The tsunami alerts were canceled because an additional information of the analysis have better defined the threat. And the tsunami center at the Palmer, Alaska, small waves of less than one foot were reported in Alaska. Hmm. I didn't even know, just like you guys, I didn't know they get earthquakes, tsunamis, or mm -hmm. any of that. I, I thought, thought tsunamis were only like overseas, like in uh, like other countries. Japan yeah. and... Yeah. But then again, um, when that when the Haiti no the Metsco earthquake happened, we did have um, tsunami warnings here in Tampa when that happened as well. Mm -hmm. uh, the earthquake happened 175 miles southeast of Kodiak, Alaska, and 15 in a depth of 15 miles. The U.S. Geological Survey said, although the tsunami warnings were canceled, San Francisco. Officials warned residents to stay away from the coastlines for 12 hours. Now that that's a big deal. If you, something happened in Alaska and you're getting f effects of it in California, yeah, mm -hmm. a, that's a, a huge deal. Yes, and earthquakes go up to a magnitude of 10. So at 8.2, was anyone hurt or anything? There was no, uh, the, miraculously, there was no um, reports that anybody was it's hurt. Good. It's Alaska, dude. <laughs> well, you never know. <laughs> well, Eskimos and. <laughs> <laughs> but unfortunately, because of the tsunami watch and warnings, the entire villages and towns are being evacuated. No doubt. The commercial fishing boat in the Ka Kodiak, when the quake hit, he f said he felt that. Nathan O'More felt that the shakes really kept going for minutes at a time. According to CNN, people evacuated to higher ground amid of the tsunami warnings. Entire villages have been evacuated. The sirens ran off in Kodiak. The police warned that this was not a drill. Other people felt that it was... It was definitely noticeable, but luckily in some people's houses, nothing fell off of their roofs. Nothing fell down. There was not a lot of damages inside the house. One lady said to the CNN officials in Anchorage, Alaska, yeah, we felt it. But luckily, the only thing that happened to my house was the cracks in the drywall now. <laughs> I thought of an igloo. Is that bad? Yes. <laughs> but then again, it's Alaska. They don't really have a whole bunch of cities, and they don't have a whole bunch of big structures. Now, if this would have happened in San Francisco, we probably would have a completely different story. Yes. Yeah, a complete so, meltdown if it was San Francisco. Oh, my. Mm -hmm. Yes. I not even imagine. And, San, and California is three times the population of Alaska anyway. So we would have more in-depth of different things that if it happened luckily the earthquake happened in the ocean deep in the ground or deep under the surface so there's not a bunch of things that we have to worry about from them now other than the breaking news of this morning and the fact that we're still getting information about what's happening over there because you know this happened at six o'clock this morning and stuff so again 12 hours there can't be on the coastline so we still got to get news updates throughout the day. Can you imagine if the officials was to tell you guys we cannot go to our beaches or anything for 12 mu for 12 hours? Be a state of emergency. <laughs> <laughs> Bayshore is only Bayshore is less than a mile away from us and that is part of the Gulf of Mexico. So that would mean that we would have to leave all of Eborn downtown area. Gasparilla would be canceled. Yeah. Oh yeah, I definitely would have. Like, Danette Gasparilla is this Saturday, everybody. <laughs> Go, going from the Alaska coastline, and I really hope that anybody that's affected by this don't has not lost their house, has not lost their businesses. I hope people are okay over there. If you're listening in Alaska, you're in our You prayers. never know. You never know. <laughs> exactly. Now, we also had a lot of stuff happen this weekend, too like the government shutdown that took place mm -hmm. on Friday. Now, 
the Trump did sign the bill this morning that ended the shutdown on January 23rd, 2018. Oh, it's over? Yeah. Yeah, it's over already. At 3.07 a.m. Yeah. Temporary, exactly. He's that great. wasn't very long. He's great. He's fantastic. <laughs> exactly. And how ironic that it the shutdown happened one year exactly from your inauguration. Not even, right? I think he was inaugurated on what, the 20th. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. And it happened on January 20th at exactly midnight, midnight. when it began January 20th. <laughs> That's funny. And I just love how he blames everyone else but himself. He does not take responsibility for it, and that's unacceptable. And according to, again, CNN, um, Trump says that even though the Democrats are to blame, we're still going to be blamed for it. So he's saying that the Democrats are to blame, but he says he's going to take the heat for it. Okay. You ever notice that's like his first line of defense whenever he's trying to like <laughs> come come to t- like defend himself? He'll either use Hillary or the Democrats as like a, a scapegoat. Exactly, and it doesn't work ever. Now, for those of you who are not new, a lot who are not news nerds like me, <laughs> who doesn't um, pay attention to a lot of the news and stuff, because I have friends and family who just refuses to watch the news because they think everything. I don't blame the, you in this day and age. Exactly, everything's really sad. A lot of a lot of um. My friends just feel like it's just sad. I don't want to watch it. Exactly. Like, th- th- I, I'm i trying to be a journalist, and I want to be a news anchor and work for CNN eventually. So I voluntarily set up my social media to just get alerts whenever something big happens on MSNBC, NBC, Fox, CNN, and all the news stations. Did something big happen? Uh huh. So like, <laughs> I like that segue. <laughs> exactly. So for those of you that don't know, the federal government officially shut down at 12:01 a.m. on Saturday as Republicans and Democrats remain on a standoff after the spending bill. President Trump is attempting to place the blame on the government, <laughs> and for the first time in history, the government has truly shut down under one party control. So this was the first time that's ever happened. In a series of tweets, Trump said Democrats are more concerned with illegal immigrants than with military and border security that they could have easily reached the Republicans, but decided to play shutdown politics instead. Both parties in the presence shared the blame for the shutdown. So this was history made because this was the first time it's ever happened. There's a lot of history being made. I mean, I'm glad I'm not going to be in like history classes in the future because <laughs> <laughs> yeah it's it's almost it's getting depressing honestly i what's going on in yeah. politics right now it's it's and, terrible and honestly like to truly think of it because um there's been reports of history books being rewritten we're we're going to be telling our future kids and future grandkids about what truly happened because we're right. living it. <laughs> and <laughs> then th- that was just a little summary of everything. I know. But the Washington Post said that the spill was signed to end the shutdown on Monday night and capping off a nearly three-day deadlock and resisting funds until February 8th. And so the government has officially reopened. And that is all for the current events, Yay. the two biggest highlights of what's happened in this past week. And it's a really weekend. encouraging stuff there. <laughs> exactly. Scary. We're going to go on a little song break again. In memory of, um, what was her name from the Cranberries? Uh, Dolores. Um, she was 46, and I saw. That's current. Yeah. yeah. Uh, she just died about a week and a half ago, and yeah. they're still yeah. investigating it. Um, not sure, but really sad. Yeah. The lead singer of the Cranberries uh, but passed this one, away. This one's going to go out to her. Exactly. May she rest in peace and spread her love to the rest of her fans. And her music. Oh, and her music. This is E. Deets, and we'll be... Hello, hello. Welcome to E. Deets. <laughs> 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 I love that. For those of you tuning in, this is our radio show to 
have all of our personalities and interests come together almost like a unified like family unison <laughs> and we got emily here that's going to talk about the latest entertainment oh well not the latest but <laughs> <laughs> oh, i'm going to talk about a movie that i hold really close to my heart um i'm going to talk about rocky horror today rocky horror picture show have you guys seen that before yes yes no yes I haven't. you haven't uh-uh. you're missing out dude i've <laughs> seen both versions get with, oh there's a bunch of more than two. Well, there's more than two. You but saw the, the the remake on Fox. Yeah, like the the big two, the big two that mm-hmm. we all know on TV. Like the biggest cult movie ever. I I don't know if it's the I biggest, but I I would argue one of them. I would argue that yeah, there's a huge cult following, but um, I won't spoil it for for you. But um, it, the general plot spoiler is that uh, yeah, spoiler alert. Um, two newlyweds, Brad Majors and Janet Weiss, get a flat tire in the rain near a castle where they encounter a group of characters, including Dr. Frankenfurter, who creates a man in his laboratory. His laboratory, his laboratory. Laboratory, yeah, <laughs> labor- I, like I like laboratory. It's like, it's like <laughs> messed up Frankenstein <laughs> in space or something. Laboratory. Basically. Mm-hmm. So um, the movie came out in 1975, and after it came out, people started going to the theaters in costumes, and they started calling out their own lines during the movie, which we call audience participation. And that's the way it's been every single weekend for the past 43 years all over the world. Every weekend they do that. They dress up and call out. <laughs> and um, somewhere along the way, um, they started performing with shadow casts, um, which is when people, like, they dress up in costume, obviously, and they perform in front. Like, they show the movie on the screen, and they perform it, like, in front. Pretty cool. Yeah. That sounds so fun. <laughs> it's a blast. It's a blast. I definitely recommend going to one. Um, in your lifetime, because you'll get hooked. I promise. You work there, right? I do. Well, not work. I'm a I'm a cast member. Yeah. So like, you get to dress up, put I on do. the makeup, and sing and dance. <laughs> I do. Well, I get to lip lip it, lip sync it. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, we have a Rocky Horror Shadow Cast right here in Tampa. Um, Hell on Heels, H E Double Hockey Sticks, on O N Heels, H E E L S. Um, and they're relatively new, um, and they perform at the Villaggio Cinemas in Carrollwood. It's off Northdale Mabry Highway, and um, sometimes they even perform here at um, the Centro in Ebor. Um, they did that at the end of every month, but um, I don't know. I don't know when we're coming back, but we're coming back here really soon. And um, we have a show in February next month at um, I don't know if anybody is listening from St. Pete, but um, we have a show at the Iberian Rooster. Um, it's a really nice place. It's gorgeous, and um, they're really they're really good to us. So we have a, a quote unquote Valentine's Day show there. Uh, cool. they better bring you some chocolates or something. <laughs> so how many shows would you say you've done? Oh, I have it on my phone. Do you want to know how many shows I've done? Like as of yes. this moment, hang on, let me pull it up real quick. It's in the 30s. I I joined wow. in June. What, you guys go on tour or something? No, <laughs> I wish. World tour. We could, we could. I think we have the means to do Shoot. it. Shoot, I wish I would. If that, if they go on tours, then I want to be hired too, cause I would love to. <laughs> you should audition. We we are always accepting new members. Well, like for me, my only thing is is that like there's certain scenes that they be doing crazy moves and stuff. <laughs> I'm not a flexible person. I'm not somebody that could do backflips, front flips. They don't do back flips in the movie no. well not not You're in the movie crazy. but it's, how, i think i went to one show in tarpon springs where they were they were doing back flips. backflips yes <laughs> and my sister flexible. actually like got to Cirque go on Soleil. stage <laughs> but yeah i think he was at Soleil. Cirque du Soleil i don't think. no not Cirque du Soleil <laughs> uh, trust me it was rock the board picture show but That's I'm just awesome. like we gotta get our act together then if they're doing backflips out here. Yeah, it's like I just can't do any of those other crazy stunts. Like I will always want to be in the play, but I'm like if I have to do something <laughs> that I feel like will break my neck, I can't do it. So as of this moment, I've done 33 shows. This one That's on awesome. Friday will be my 33rd show with them. That's awesome. Not that I'm counting or anything. <laughs> <laughs> this so week I'm actually have, sorry to interrupt. Do you guys no, get paid for that? No, we get tips and stuff, but um, okay. we don't get to keep it. We get to um, it goes to our cast. And, okay. Okay. Yeah, to keep us, keep us there in our home at the Bellagio. Mm-hmm. I was gonna. I'm not in charge of the money, so don't quote me on that. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say like you um, don't even get to keep your own money. No, it's just for fun. We like to yeah. give back to the community and perform. We're, they're very, they're generally all everybody on that cast is a good human being, and I'm happy to call them my friend because I know that I can call any of them up right now. Well, maybe not right now because it's really early, 
but um, I can call them um, right now and they'll listen to me more so than my other friends would because they're my family. They're a second family and they do so much. Um, they go to the, all the prides and stuff and yeah. they just love giving back to the community. Um, Sam Burke is the director and Susan Bellavo is the producer. Um, they're both into film and theater and they called up their acting friends last year and their school friends and they formed HOH and they're still here today <laughs> performing and every Friday night. Every Friday. So how much practice do you get before your actual? None. <laughs> we don't practice. We just kind of show up and do it. We watch um we watch the movie all the time more more than anybody I'm pretty sure we watch we've seen the movie more than you ever will so you've seen it like a hundred times oh yeah much. a zillion <laughs> but it's different because I'm 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 gonna be Columbia this week actually which is, I, it's only the second time I performed her she's a lead and um, unless you're watching like later on in the future in which case I'm probably not <laughs> so you watch both the old one and the new one no I, we don't talk about the new one I watched the old one I watched 1975 with Tim Curry oh so you don't even talk about the new one no, at all it was awful in my <laughs> opinion <laughs> new oh. reboots are never as good as the original no we no, talked never. about that last week yeah yeah reboot. so it's like just the original that's but good. Tim Curry was in it and that's really cool I mean mm -hmm. it's sad to see his health decline yeah so he's much. in bad shape right now yeah. I actually got to see him at um MegaCon um in may of last year and i got a picture with him he wasn't much of a talker but it yeah. was so great to be standing there next to him i met i met a bunch of rocky people i met meatloaf i met um little nell and patricia quinn and um barry bostwick and they were just the coolest people you're so lucky oh thank you i love going to that's a different story i should talk about conventions on here next week or something yeah yeah you i've should. met a bunch of cool people that would be oh that would be awesome <laughs> but i do love the music from the rocky horror picture show yeah so i definitely recommend you guys come out and see us we're at the Villaggio cinemas every friday night doors open at 11 30. um just to map Dang, it out <laughs> <laughs> one just it's like the address is like one 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 seven seven eight eight north yale neighbor highway is that by like the that. borders or not one borders the barnes and noble eight. Yeah, but it's right there. Yeah. 1778 North Dale Mabry Highway. I live up there, so it's like, that place does sound familiar. The people at the movie theater, they're, they're the coolest people. They're so nice to us, and they're we'll our have, friends. We'll have to all go and support Emily. Yeah, and come, come out and time. see me. Yeah. Let's say come see me this week. This The 26th, I think, is this Friday. January 26th, I'm going to be Columbia. Oh, I was going to say, if I <laughs> didn't have a busy schedule this Friday, oh, I would go. He's got plans. He's got plans. And plus, I got... famous. He got stuff to do. <laughs> it better be. <laughs> I got I got to get prepared for Gasparilla on Friday Oh, yeah, night. That's, that's Saturday. I'm going to try oh. to go, too. So, yeah. The, I work. <laughs> the parade starts at 11 o'clock in the morning, so I have to be down there by, like, 9 o'clock or 10 o'clock in the morning. If you go see Rocky, you don't have to sleep that night. <laughs> you just stay up. Yeah. All night. Exactly. That's the fun part. But I'm also, I got plans on Saturday night, too. So, that's, you know, Gasparilla goes from, like, 11 to, like, 3 a.m. It goes for, like, three weeks. What are you talking about? Well, like, the the day of the parades go from, like, <laughs> 11 a.m. to, like, 3 o'clock. Oh, my God, real morning. quick, real quick before we cut to music. My friend, um, well, he's a friend of, of somebody who used to be friends with me. He had a sign at the children's parade that said, Surrender the Booty. I swear. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my he didn't god. make it, but I thought it, I saw a picture of him That's holding it up at the children's parade, and it was just so funny. <laughs> <laughs> that, That's a little risky there, man. <laughs> yeah, it's like the night parade will be the more accurate <laughs> atmosphere for that one. Yeah. Yeah, it's like, but you know, it's going to be crazy this Saturday anyway. Yeah. Now, we're going to go on to our music break. Whoop whoop. This is E Deets. Where's your where's your little huh? music oh. thing? <laughs> there we go. <laughs> <laughs> yay. Yeah, yay. We'll, we're gonna be playing be right a couple songs for you guys, so we'll see you when we get right back. back here. Welcome back to the E Deets show. <laughs> I'm Nick. I'm Jesse. I'm Emily. And I'm Evan. And we are, for those of you tuning in, uh, the radio show where all of our personalities come back into one big happy family. Oh. <laughs> 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 oh, that's too sappy for my uh, taste. Yeah. <laughs> hey, but at least we got taste. 
Mm-hmm. But um, we are going to be talking about the music, right? Music with Jesse. Jesse. Yes, yes. Um, yeah, so I love music. I played in bands since I was 16. I play guitar. Um, I could play a little drums, a little bass, but music has been a part of my life for a very long time. And some of the bands that I, I mean, I love stuff from the 60s, 70s, 80s, 90s, now. Um, a lot of alternative rock, uh, some rap. I even like disco. So I like give us an bit. example of some songs. Well, Gosh, sing some this. right now. I'm not going to sing. But <laughs> I'll give you some example of bands that I like from the 60s. I'll sing them. <laughs> from the 60s. I love The Doors, Jim Morrison and The Doors. If you ever get a chance you got me. <laughs> to listen to them, I encourage you to do so. The Cure, they're a fan from the 80s. I'm not going to lie. I immediately thought you were going to say The Beatles when you mentioned I mean, the I love The Beatles, too, of course. <laughs> they were the 70s yeah, or the 60s. 60s. And, you know, I love The Beatles, too. But The Cure, they're from the 80s. Real, you know. Best music. Band. Best music. Best music. Best yeah. music comes from the 80s. Well, not 80s rock, but 80s, like. New, new wave music with drum machines and synthesizers. I like love the, that kind of music. Do you like Talking Heads? Yes, I love the Talking Heads. Mm. Um, do you like Yes? <laughs> yeah, of course. Oh. Pretty much mm. any old band that you guys can think of, I've probably heard. Hot Maybe. Chili Peppers? Yes. What about Megadeth? They're okay. N- they're okay? They're okay. <laughs> Alice yeah. Cooper? Yeah, I like Alice Cooper. Yeah. Limp Biscuit. Uh, <laughs> Lip biscuit. No, you're not a Fred Durst fan. No, I remember when he was feuding with Eminem. Oh, oh, <laughs> back yeah. in the day, you know. Um, but yeah, favorite bands probably The Doors um, and The Cure. But I like all kind of music. Mm. What kind of music do you guys like? Um, pop. Just <laughs> that's a broad <laughs> that spectrum. Like, just like Michael Jackson pop, or uh, yeah, like Miley Mar- Cyrus, or like <laughs> like Michael oh, Jackson. Yeah, yeah. That I would be it. That'd be a good mashup. Yeah, Miley Cyrus and Michael Jackson. TLC. No. I listen to a yeah. lot of um, rest in peace, Linda, or was it Lisa Left Eye Lopez? Yeah. Yep. Ooh. I listen to like uh, just like him. A lot of the older like singers. I love me Chaka Khan. I love. Destiny's Child, his current time Beyonce. I mm-hmm. love um pretty much everybody. Biggie, N.W.A. I listen to um Mer- yeah, Mary NWA, J. Blige. Man, yeah. I listen to Alice Cooper. I listen to um. So you're you're pretty much all over the place. Then. All over George Strait. <laughs> I listen to country too. So I have a lost me. You lost me there. I like well. I like Johnny Cash. But that's as far as okay. George Strait is really good. Alabama, uh, I, I love gotta Alabama. Admit. <laughs> <laughs> I say, what kind of music do you listen to, Emily? I have, <laughs> I'm eclectic like you. I have on my phone a mix of like TV theme songs to like Broadway musicals to like 80s music. Well, how about like favorite top five favorite bands or musical groups? Okay, I really like Panic at the Disco. That's kind of that's not that old, no. but. I like them. I actually saw them um a couple summers ago, two summers ago. Um, I don't know. I can't pick a favorite band. I just listen to whatever's on on the radio. I listen to Q105 a lot, and they play a lot of like eighties yeah music. So I like the old stuff. The Beatles, obviously. Yeah. Evan, what about you? Um, I can tell you right now what I listen to. It's like a mix <laughs> oh between God, like rap, jazz, and like rock and roll. All three mixed together. Yeah, that's so like, I love that. Like Very rap, interesting. Jazz rap. <laughs> I don't know. Um, Kenny G, Sade, um, Fredo Santana, rest in peace. Uh, I don't know. You're very cultured. You're you're very all over the place. I I like that. (laughs) We listen to trash and he's over here. I like that. That's great. Um, That's about it. Guys, I like meatloaf. Don't forget, I like meatloaf. Yes, I know you do. (laughs) Like, I'm going to ask God this. I'm 21 years old. Is it bad that I still like to listen to Disney music time to time? No, absolutely not. Hakuna Matata slaps. 
like I will sometimes be bored and just go on Disney Channel, uh, not Disney Channel, but go on YouTube, listen to like the Seven Doors, High Ho, Lion King, Circle of Life, mm. Mulan, Reflection, Aladdin. Phil Collins, Tarzan soundtrack. No, I've never listened to that. Ain't me. Soundtrack <laughs> you don't like Disney music or no. Phil Collins? I love Phil Collins, but I I'm not a big fan <laughs> of Disney like music. <laughs> Oh. Dun, you, guys dun, 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 you guys never dun, heard dun, of Dinosaur dun, dun, Junior? What? No, what? You guys gotta spend an afternoon with me and we just listen to some music, and I'll I'll get you hooked. I promise. Oh my I've god! I've seen some crazy shows. I a band, uh, the Flaming Lips. Yeah. I saw them in Philadelphia outside. The guy comes out in a huge bubble, <laughs> and just walks among the crowd, what? like over top of the crowd, and they push him in this huge bubble. It's amazing. What, he he's like has a guitar in the bubble? No, he's singing in oh, the he's bubble. Singing. Yeah, he's How singing. How are you supposed to hear him? He falls. Yeah, he's, he's like yeah, tumbling. He's, oh, mic there. Okay. Yeah. Boom, boom, boom. Yeah, it's it's so fun. And they have like people dressed up in costumes on stage and in the crowd and bubbles and balloons everywhere. It's like a celebration almost. Mm -hmm. So I really like the Flaming Lips. And uh, there's a band, Ween, who I really like, which I actually have a tattoo of they're from new hope pennsylvania yeah. they're one of my favorite bands and i've seen them Did they write ocean man yes <laughs> <laughs> which is in spongebob by the way ocean man you know ocean man take me by the See? hand lead me to them i'm not gonna sing the whole yes. song but oh it's a great song that song it's slaps a great too song. but yeah those are you know some of my favorites and i think we're gonna take a quick uh little break here and listen to uh the cure I wish we would listen to Ocean Man. <laughs> we'll listen to it next week. Okay. Yes. Deal. Deal. I'm gonna hold you Deal. to it. All right. Now I'm thinking of the SpongeBob movie just because you mentioned. <laughs> <laughs> yes, right. I love the SpongeBob movie. We'll be welcome back to the ED show. I'm Nick. <laughs> I'm Jesse. <laughs> I'm Emily. And I'm Evan. <laughs> Perfect. And this and this is our show for all of our personalities put into one. This time we are going to debate with Evan. Okay, so we only got a few minutes here. I got three topics I want to get your guys' opinions oh on. Oh boy. Uh, first and foremost, Donald Trump. I don't. Nope. I don't like. Next him. question. I think this guy's incompetent. He's a liar. Uh, what else did I put? Uh, cheater, a racist, and a, okay, I can't do that. Was cursing, but uh, yeah, N Jesse, how do you feel about Trump? Well, I'm not a big fan of Trump for obvious reasons, like you said and there's a lot of information to back that up as well um i'm a i'm a registered democrat mm -hmm. i voted for obama twice and i don't i don't know why people get weird about saying who they voted for i yeah i'll tell you who i voted for mm -hmm. and i don't know i just what's happening in the in the world and in the country we're we're hated by a yeah. lot more people <laughs> it seems like so there's a lot of hate in the world we just gotta love each other man yeah Thanks. Peace. Peace. All right. So, um, <laughs> that uh, answered that question. Yeah, that answers that. <laughs> Second topic. Uh, how do you guys feel about going vegan? Like, uh, like the and one hundred percent okay, vegan well, lifestyle. And that um, means like, no, you can't eat any milk, eggs, milk, honey. Oh wait, I said milk. Anything. I said milk <laughs> twice. You can't eat any meat, meat, milk, eggs, or anything derived. Well, by I don't animals. eat any meat now. I'm the animals I get. Sorry, I interrupted. But the animal thing I get. Like that's that's good. But like when you get to like eggs and stuff. Yeah, I, I need eggs and cheese and. I don't see that. That's the part. Like I can see like not eating meat or like fish for that yeah. matter. Mm -hmm. But like it's like the other stuff is like what are you gonna eat? You're gonna eat dirt? Like what? Like what else are you gonna it's eat? It's like substitute. and it's more expensive. I mean, to be I'm a pescatarian, too. so I don't eat any red meat, no no chicken, anything. But I will eat like fish, shrimp, stuff like that. Yeah. So yeah, I... but no red meat. I don't I don't do it. Like, have you guys ever walked into a Whole Foods, for example, yeah. and just yes. seen how much more the prices are marked oh, the up prices to be are... vegan versus, mm -hmm. like, going into Publix or something? Well, you know why? Because it's – the stuff's better for you. Yeah. I mean, you know. Mm -hmm. I understand that. It's, My thing cheaper is, to like, be, it's cheaper to be obese in this country than it is to be healthy. I know. That's, yeah, I'm that's, obese. That's, that's a so. good point. That's a good point. <laughs> but, yes, I actually went vegetarian for three years, but you can't take me away from eggs and pastas. I just want to say this. tofu is nasty. No, it's good. Yeah. <laughs> I think I ate yeah, it wrong. It's good to you. I ate it wrong. Man, I like it. Tastes it tastes like sponge. It's soy. 
Oh, I don't know what that is. It's good. That's you all never you need had to know. Soy sauce? Yeah, I had I had tofu with soy sauce and I it like absorbed say, it. Like, you don't know what soy mm. is, like girl, you must have never ate in sushi in your life. What's the last thing you want to discuss? Uh oh yeah, global warming. You guys think is real or a myth? Yes. Of course it's real. Obviously. <laughs> if it's Just look at the earthquake. The earthquake that happened today in Alaska. Look okay, at our weather. Yeah, that's true. I forgot no. about that. Look how Tampa went down to 20 something degrees and we had snow in our state like four times already. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. It did snow a little bit in Tallahassee. But yeah, mm-hmm. those are just my uh, three topics I wanted to get your guys' uh, opinions on. Hopefully, we'll have some more time next week to go in Very a bit good. more yes. in depth. Yeah. Absolutely. Exactly. Well, guys, we have to wrap it up. <laughs> but I know, I know. We're I'm going we're gonna miss <laughs> you guys. We'll be back next week. Yeah, keep tuning in. We'll mm. have more topics to discuss, entertainment, sports, everything. Exactly. The, our show is our personalities put into one. Again, I'm Nick. I'm Jesse. I'm Emily. And I'm Evan and this is the Yeet Deets show. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see you guys next week. Right, peace out. Peace out.